yeah uh, the concept of plasma spraying is the topic uh, and uh, it is presented by cp yoganand and uh, r sanjeev kumar department of physics coimbatore institute of technology coimbatore so before going to the concept of plasma spraying which is used for uh, having material coatings we have to know what is plasma plasma is more popularly known as the fourth state of matter so we have a solid state liquid state gaseous state and the fourth state of matter is plasma state so plasma has some uh, peculiar properties such as quasi neutrality collective behavior so it has electric and magnetic fields the plasma has positive charges as well as negative charges which is known as electrons and uh, neutral charges the thing is the positive charges is equal to the negative charges this property is known as quasi neutrality second when you look into the occurrence of plasma it occurs 99 percentage in the universe so rest of the one percentage is all the other materials which is available in the universe so mostly every thing in the universe is in the plasma state so here you have the examples of conversion of water from solid state into liquid state and then into gaseous state as the temperature increases and finally when we apply some uh, voltage you have the water molecule being ionized so you have four states of matter which is solid state liquid state gaseous state and the plasma state so types of plasmas are cold plasmas and hot plasmas cold plasmas are non equilibrium plasmas and hot plasmas are equilibrium plasmas so we have the conceptual diagram showing a temperature versus pressure curve you have the equilibrium plasmas and the non equilibrium plasmas and the equilibrium plasmas the so next the device which is used for uh, generation of plasma is the plasma torch so we have the figure here showing the plasma torch which is a anode cathode arrangement on supply of voltage and current will give you the generation of plasma so plasma torches are also known as plasmatrons which are used for uh, laboratory generation of plasma so using these devices we can do metal cutting ceramic and uh, metal coating mineral processing material synthesis etc so here are the various types of plasma sources or plasma torches so here dc non transfer arc plasma torch here you have transfer arc plasma torch here you have the arc which is transferred this makes a difference between non transfer arc and the transfer arc and here you have the rf torch hala cathode torch and the ac plasma torch these are the types of plasma torches so again why we should use the plasma torches so the advantages of the plasma torches are it has high temperature from 10000k to 15000k as compared with the other conventional sources so maximum uh, temperature in the conventional sources is 3000k so it has high power density reduced processing time rapid quenching time clean sources ideal for handling bio and hazardous waste so it has a high throughput so generally you have the applications of thermal plasma as it can be used for plasma cutting plasma surface engineering like uh, formation of coatings what we are looking into and plasma melting minerals processing synthesis of nano materials so as per the definition plasma spray which is the topic of the day is plasma spray deposition is a process that combines particle melting quenching and consolidation in a single operation so here it involves injection of the powder particles into the plasma jet and where the powder particles are melted inside the plasma jet and again when they strike the substrate the form an adherent coating so the material can be fed in the form of powder that is powder spraying or wire which is known as wire spraying so advantages of plasma spraying are versatility no limit on substrate size coating process is flat low temperature of the substrate thick coatings can be developed so this is the plasma spray apparatus and the mechanism involved so you have the powder feed into the plasma jet and you have the formation of the coatings on the substrate and again this is the whole uh, spray setup so the plasma torch is here and you have the connections to the power supply you have the cooling system gas supply system powder feeder spray booth 
which is used for the formation of coating so the equipments as i have described in the earlier slide includes plasma spray booth the uh, nozzle the cooling arrangement and uh, you have the uh, cathode which is made up of tungsten and the anode made up of copper so both the electrodes are water cooled and you have the ports for injection of the powder particle inside the nozzle so you have to maintain a proper power level for generating the plasma so it works generally in the range of 5 to 10 kilowatts in the subsonic jet level and 30 to 60 kilowatt range in the supersonic jet velocity level so these are some uh, power level uh, ranges which are used for plasma spraying so you have to have a plasma medium which is known as plasma gas argon nitrogen helium hydrogen and air can be used for formation of the plasmas so these are used as plasma gases the main temperatures are temperature and velocity are the main parameters which are governing the process of surface coatings so control of plasma temperature can be done by varying arc current plasma gas flow rate choice of plasma gases so here you have the uh, measurement values of uh, temperatures for different power levels for 8 kilowatts it is 5940 kelvin so this is done by using a special uh, type of spectrometric uh, setup so for 10 kilowatts it is 6360 and again here you can observe for 16 kilowatts it is 906 9050 kelvin so you have the variation of temperature versus input power the curve so next the plasma ga forming gases and characteristics involves these gases will uh, have the dissociation energy ionization energy and thermal conductivity which are important parameters which must be selected while we are using the gases for plasma generation the next you have the diagram showing how it works so you have all the uh, jet uh, area shown here or the torch uh, area shown here you have the injection of powder particles inside the plasma jet wherein due to the exit uh, plasma jet it is getting uh, the powder particle which has to be coated is getting accelerated and gets coated to the sur substrate so this is the splat or the single individual particle which is going and sticking on to the sub substrate so you have the coating substrate and an interface layer so this is the pattern of formation of the coating so commonly the deposits remain adherent to the substrate as coatings so these parameters include feed stock type the coating parameters include feed stock type plasma gas composition and flow energy input torch offset distance substrate cooling etc so these are some uh, deposit uh, properties that is uh, the flats formed by the liquid droplets inside the plasma jet on the substrate so as the feed stock powders typically have sizes from few micron to 100 micrometer the lamellae will have thickness in the micrometer range so this is the uh, diagram which shows you the substrate and the coating so you have the droplets or the uh, melted particle which are spherical which are impinging on the flat surface and forming deposition layer by layer and forming a cake like coating which has thickness in the order of micrometer so next parameter will be deposition e efficiency or the coating efficiency coating deposition efficiency is given by weight deposited by weight injected into 100 that is the weight of powder particles deposited divided by weight of powder particles injected multiplied by 100 So this is a variation of deposition efficiency with uh, plasma torch input power, and this is the effect of powder feed rate on the deposition efficiency. So here you have the uh, feed stock powder, which is alumina titania, the composite powder. The particle size is 10 to 40 microns. So this is the effect of primary gas, and this is the effect of deposition efficiency. 
so next we go to the uh, application side and uh, mr sanjeev kumar will be explaining the applications of uh, plasmas and yeah, the plasma sir used in the application such as protection against high temperature corrosion resi- resistant coatings then erosion resistant wear resistance change the appearance critic electrical and <coughs> dry biological properties of the surface and it is mainly used in the application of replace warm material and etc in recent trends the plasma spraying are used in low pressure plasma spraying and reactive plasma spraying then it having co injection plasma pre- spraying and it gives uh, on below we getting the schematic diagram for the co injection plasma spray uh, it is the gun plasma laboratory and it gives the surface morphology of aluminum oxide coating and finally we getting the surface morphology of al2o3 plus ptee coating then these are the schematic setup diagram of the plasma spray setup and it gives 40 kW plasma spray spray unit and it gives the microstructure of aluminia 30% titana composite plus nylon coating in the top view we getting the some of the particles at the flat surface and in the cross section we getting the plasma as shown in the figure microstructure of the plasma sprayed yttria specialized coating in ss plate and reactive plasma spraying coatings on nickel aluminum these are the sem sem semi images of the coating prepared at 50 kW and we having the semi images of semi molten particles impressed inside a splat again using the plasma coating again we getting the uh, semi images of fe fe iron and aluminum here also we getting 100 micrometers of the semi images and the we getting the three schematic diagrams of the semi images and last we uh, seeing about the microstructure plasma spread of aluminum coating on ss plate and these are the microstructures of the same and finally i am saying the thank you that's all